Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 4th of 2022. Well, it is titled moons beyond rings at Saturn. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the ring plane of Saturn. And that is an image taken in 2010 by the Cassini spacecraft, which was then in orbit around Saturn. Now, where is the Cassini spacecraft now? Well, it's actually part of Saturn. As it ran low on fuel in 2017, it was uh, maneuvered into Saturn's atmosphere and is now just a part of the giant planet having been crushed by the immense pressures with in its atmosphere. However, we still have many of the images that it took in its near decade around Saturn, and we can still study those to learn more about the ringed planet. Now here we don't see the planet itself, but we do see the rings stretching across the middle of the image. And we get an idea of the different structures, we can see some brighter and darker structures within them. And we note with the one moon, uh, which is Rhea is the larger brighter moon there, we can see parts of it are complete gaps and empty areas that we can see through so areas with very little in the way of ring particles. And we can tell that because we can certainly see the moon directly through them. Now when we look at other areas, we note that we cannot see the moon through them, we can see that others have enough material in them to block out the light from that moon. Now what that means is not that the rings are solid, they're not solid disks, they are actually made up of many billions of individual particles orbiting around Saturn. But when you have enough of them there in a high enough density, they can block out and hide the light from behind it. So we can see little bits and get glimpses of Rhea through the rings, but we can't actually see the entire moon because part of it is being blocked out by the rings. Now the second moon we see is up above the ring plane and that is Janus. Janus is another one of the moons and is much smaller. Uh, the uh, Janus itself is about 180 kilometers across only about one tenth the size of Rhea that we looked at here uh, within the ring plane. So it's a much smaller moon and you can note how irregularly shaped it is. Uh, objects that are massive enough will pull themselves into spheres under gravity. So that applies to any large object in the solar system from our sun to any of the major planets to many of the dwarf planets and even many of the larger moons have enough mass within them to pull themselves into a spherical shape. However, smaller objects like Janus are unable to do this and will still appear irregular in shape. And we can see that there. And we can also see some of the cratering on both surfaces of both of these two moons of Saturn. So that was our picture of the day for January 4th of 2022. It was titled Moons Beyond Rings at Saturn. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Comet Tailscape. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.